Here comes a high flying feed on. This is going to be fun to watch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Frazier. One of the best young high flyers in all of WWE. Yeah, but Frazier's also shown his grappling skills in winning the NXT Heritage Cup. A truly well-rounded athlete. The door has been opened. Out comes the darkness. And Wyatt says what happens next, not his fault. We have all watched as Bray Wyatt has slowly spiraled out of control. No, I think this is what was always in there, just bubbling below the surface. Yeah, Byron, but now it is completely taken over. Bray Wyatt, as sadistic and calculating as they come in WWE. It's that combination that makes him such a dangerous opponent. It's hard enough to predict the actions of a man with a calculating mind like his, but adding that poison to the well of his mind just makes him that much scarier. It makes you wonder just what devious design Wyatt has in store here tonight. Well, Nathan Frazier is ready to stand up to all. Is it enough? And Bray Wyatt kicks out. Still in it. Inverted face lock into an elbow drop. Cover! And the referee stops the count before two. It'll take more than that to hold him down. <laughs> Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go. 
He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. That has to take all the breath out of you. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. And apart from the mind game, Bray really is a unique athlete. Corey, which part of his physical game do you think poses the biggest challenge? His speed. Wyatt likes to go on short, brutal bursts that come out of nowhere. That's why you gotta hang tough and take this match long. Wear him down over time. Tossed into the corner. Oh, kick right to the gut. Oh, Bray puts a stop to that. Up and around it. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 back no. Back suplex, a back suplex right out of the apron. For all his heart, it looks like Frazier may have hit his limit. Bray proving too much to handle with that. Just disrespectful. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. And Wyatt falls to a counter. Bang. Super kick! Thrown back in under the ropes. The ref still counting, might be a count out. No, they beat the count. Just barely. Wait, 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 wait. And Wyatt with a quick kick out. Not a very effective pin attempt. That can knock you out. Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Producing a trampling. He turns it around. Boom. It's okay. They weren't that pretty anyway. He can end it here. Eerie are growing with this win. There's no telling what Bray's going to do with this win. There are endless possibilities for him now. Water. The buzzer. Austin Theory is ready for action. And he can go all day. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin a dominant competitor, but terrible at the commentary table.
I'll give Theory his due, but he has the habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? And his opponents, first, from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed! Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami! The silent man. Dexter Loomis should be in an asylum, not an arena. And from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis! Just the absolute nothingness when you look into Dexter's eyes, it's horrifying. There are sinister plans at work in this man's head right now. Everything Dexter Loomis does makes me uncomfortable. Just look at how he's moving around. What is that? Uh, he's just showing off his upper body strength. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Good work, Dex. It's fight night! And representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Looking at the career of Sheamus, he's been successful in both singles and Tag team competition. Yeah, the Celtic Warrior can go toe to toe with anyone who steps up to him. With the bell, we're kicking off this fatal four-way. This is a grueling match. No disqualification and only one winner. Not only do you have to worry about getting a win, but you have to make sure no one else beats you to it. Spiked. And he barely evades. Ah, oh, Seamus. There it is, the Irish curse backbreaker. where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean cut. This one's all but over. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Right, he's got him here. He's got him up. And sidewalk slam.
table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Drop kick on target. His shoulders are down. No, he kicks out. Close call, but not enough yet. search of a second win now. Just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. Lomas gets intercepted. Kravat locked in. Neckbreaker! <laughs> Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Uh-oh. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Whatever's playing here can't be good. And that was some vicious DDT we just saw. And perhaps Reigns' confidence just got a bit shaken. Yeah, as theory is definitely feeling even cockier here. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Oh, he's got him up high. The fallaway slam. And can he score the pin? He gets the shoulder up in two. Wow. Returning to the ring now. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. competitors in this match gave everything they had but there can only be one winner in the end and you are looking at them Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Gunter at a combined weight of 440 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperia! 
It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. La Familia is before us, and they are all business. Came up the hard way, paid their dues, and now reaping success. And their opponents at a combined weight of 472 pounds. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Tony D'Angelo and Channing Lorenzo, the D. If you mess with the family, you pay the price. Tony and Stax ready to deal some lessons. These men own the streets, about to own all of WWE. Something I do appreciate about Imperium is that their goal is clear. They're simply here to defend the honor of the ring and dominate the competition. It really is that simple. These are men joined by a shared purpose. They're disciplined, shrewd, and will do what it takes to accomplish what they set out to do. Unfortunately for their opponents, what they set out to do is pull the competition apart limb from limb and leave them battered and broken in the ring. And they're staring at WWE's resident wise guys, Tony D and Stax. The D'Angelo family. While they may have some questionable connections, the D'Angelo family has made it clear that they will do whatever they need to do to make it to the top of WWE, whether by hook or by crook. Butterfly suplex! Oh, there's a response against Kaiser. He's been placed in the corner now. Look at that counter from Ludwig. Big knee to the midsection. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Delivering the suplex. He fades the attack. He's tagging out. He made it. Tag made. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Saw that one coming. And a nice takedown. Uh-oh, look out. Double leg drop. Seated suplex. Take your time, enjoy it. Boom! Before the fist drops on your face. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Gets the tag. Elbow on the spot. Left by the turnbuckles. And the manager is searching under the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Uh-oh, great reverse. 
reversal. Gut wrench suplex. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Pick in the spot. And Stax didn't figure out a defense for that maneuver. What an attack there by Vinci. Expertly controlling his power. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, rough landing off the suplex. Vicious right forearm. And Tony didn't see that coming. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Keep it up. Getting him into the corner. Hooked up in the corner. Oh, an exploder suplex into the corner. Punch right in the head. All of Ludwig's impressive self-discipline couldn't save him from that attack. That's unnecessary. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. He must have had that scouting. D'Angelo showcasing his strength. Yeah, Kaiser really has to show some more resistance. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. And an elbow. What a counter by Tony. Jawbreaker counter to get out of that. Ludwig Kaiser with an air raid crash. That's gotta be it. Ludwig knows what he needs to end this. Uh, ducked underneath. German suplex turns the tides. Ooh. Take that. What now? Stop to the belly! Tags him in. Ah, uh, takedown. And now punches rights. What a shot. And sent right into the corner. Tackle after shoulder tackle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alley-oop. Will it be? Got it. No, just a two. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Tag made. Double team offense. On the horizon, up and down with Bada Bing. Can that keep Kaiser down? Coming to the rescue. Ludwig was ready for that. Oh, close line. These superstars' bodies must be racked with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? Just disrespectful. And an elbow drop, too. With the counter. He went right into that turnbuckle. And a double shoulder block. Uh oh. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework.
Tony D'Angelo, and Shannon Lorenzo, the D'Angelo family. The D'Angelo family couldn't be refused tonight. They are your winners. This must be a demoralizing loss for Imperium. I shudder to think what they'll do in response. Ah, uh, making her way to the ring and from behind a clubbing blow to the back of the neck. And this is just downright nasty. What the? An all-out assault. Well, clearly she doesn't plan on actually having a match. Yeah, this competitor completely just throwing the rule book out the window. And that arm might need medical attention. And so there's the bell, but I don't know how much of a match we're in for after that sneaky assault that took place during the entrances. Just overexcited for this match, that's all. They couldn't stand to wait until they actually got in the ring or it was a calculated plan to get the advantage. Well, I guess we'll just never know. Vicious backdrop suplex. Mm. Fighting back with a counter. Uh-oh. High angle belly of back suplex. The power on display right now is ridiculous. Down to Bonin and a double axe handle smash. Ooh, what a forearm club. Incoming. Crash landing. Power bomb. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. And Alba perhaps not the only one with a killer instinct in this one. That's the kind of physicality we can expect from Piper. Improving a bit slippery for them there. But oh, what a close line. Vicious <laughs> knee. Has an answer for Niven. Shoving them away. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Alba Fire absolutely lives up to the name. But I have a feeling that cooler heads might just prevail in this one. If Fire wants a better chance of coming out of this one with the W, she has to keep... Here's the cover. She kicks out in one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Just rake in the face. Oh, look at this claw in the face. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. She's fighting back. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. When it comes to this rivalry, I think we all thought cooler heads would end up prevailing, but that has absolutely not been the case. Oh, yeah, Michael. Right now, there is nothing that can stop the collision course that these... She can end it here. Oh, flips the lever, shoulders down. Barely kicks out. That was a long two count there. Fry quick to counter.
Momentum is all with Niven now. Yeah, Alba has to plot a way to get back into this. Her energy is fading rapidly now. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Oh my. Is it enough here? Kick out. She still has life. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Jumping elbow drop. Oh, that might have just broken something. Devastating elbow. Fire got out of the way. Bulldog. And Agile scoops their opponent up. Uh oh. Look out. It's an open cover. Piper got all of it. Is it enough? The cover. We knew it wouldn't be easy, Saxton. We knew she was going to have to fight her heart out. And that's exactly what she did. You can see the toll of this incredible matchup and favoring that left arm. Yeah, her arm certainly looks a little worse for wear. Hopefully it's nothing too serious that could hamper the celebration because believe me, she deserves to celebrate tonight. for a fair fight. A brutal steps. sneak attack from behind before the match has even had a chance to begin. What a vicious and calculated attack. Those are very fancy ways for you to say intelligent, Cole. Glad to see all the superstars involved have made it into the ring. But this is no longer a fair fight after that shocking assault while making their way to the ring. I gotta imagine that brutal assault has taken some kind of toll, though. Yeah, as this match goes on, the lasting effects of that attack might become a factor. Oh, he knew what was coming. DDT! Brutal stomp to the body. And, oh, and then the chest as well. He just barely dodges. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Sent into the corner. Scouting pays off against not. A uh, bear hug. A uh, bear hug. And a way to get out of it is being on display right here. Corbin averts the attack. Oh, uh, look at this. Headbutt. Can he do it here? And a shoulder in the air. Staying in this one. Shinsuke Nakamura's powerful kicks are known the world over. So if you're taking him on, you have to take those strikes away. I'd recommend going after his core and draining his stamina. Then he'll be unable to deliver attacks with full strength. That seems like a sound strategy against Nakamura taking away his strongest weapon. Are you kidding me? I don't know what you're thinking when you throw an opponent out of the ring like that. the attack with a hit to the gut. Way to steer clear. Oh, an overhand punch. Corbin is just having his way. Smart strategy we're seeing here. Draining Nakamura's stamina so he can't deliver the full strength attacks anymore. He's turning the tables. 
Reigns. Jinsuke is showing he's not out of it. Maybe he's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Oh, elbow right to the breadbasket for their troubles. Oh, what a knee lift. This could be it. Cover. No, kick out for Corbin. Just barely, but it counts. Oh, using the knee. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. I think I speak for everyone when I say that this rivalry has gotten out of hand. Neither side of this thing has any caution for the well-being of the other. This isn't about who's better anymore. This is about taking out the competition. Some might even argue that the better side is the last one standing, Cole. But you do have a point. This rivalry has gotten way out of hand. Uh, our bar. Oh, can't lift anyone at that shoulder. It keeps getting worked on. Oh, that's just insulting. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Nakamura hits the inverted power slam. Nakamura shoulders down. Now the trash talking after the victory. Emotions running high. And Byron, I'm not quite sure. This is what we, we expected to see. Okay, this is, no, this is not needed. This is uncalled for. With a steel chair to the arm. Repeated shots. Winning clearly wasn't enough for this superstar. It's about taking out their opponent all together. Now this is too much, Corey. This is way too far. Gentlemen, damage control has arrived. You are looking at the past, present, and future of the women's division. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing damage control from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion, Three women who make each other better. Multiple tag team title reigns for Dakota and Io, and countless main events for Bailey. No doubting that, but they've been taking shortcuts to get to the top of the women's division. Yeah, and here's the sad part, Michael. They don't have to take all those shortcuts. Well, you're actually right about that, Saxton. I agree, but shortcuts are what will get them to the top sooner rather than later. Ty, Bailey, and Sky about to take what they want. She calls herself a whole lot of woman, ready to do a whole lot of whooping. from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons! 
built like a tank, but moves like a cat. Uh, if Nikita is a tank, she's certainly an aerodynamic tank. And we begin with a very unique Nikita Lyons, who has really taken the WWE Universe by storm as of late. Nikita doesn't fit any mold in WWE, and that's clearly her advantage. She's a modern version of a wrestling powerhouse, and in today's women's division, she has a lot of opportunity in front of her. No doubt, a bright future ahead if she can capitalize. But let's talk about Bailey. She's turned her back on the fans and started only looking out for herself and her own interests. She rejected them so completely that now it's become only booze whenever she enters an arena. And I think those booze only fuel Bailey's inner fire. She figured out that it's better to be successful than to be loved. The fans weren't getting her anywhere, so she moved on and became one of the most intimidating competitors in this entire women's division. An elusive Bailey there. Nikita capitalizes there. Uh, shot to the body. Big right hook. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Oh, look at slam. Corey, what exactly is it that Bailey... One count's getting harder and harder to kick out of. Kick to the body. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Look ringside now, guys. This manager is doing something very suspicious. Seconds left. No. It's over. Nikita Lyons with the victory. Here is your winner, Nikita Lyons. The challenger unable to make it back in in time. The rep really had no choice. Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless. The dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha Royalty to the Emperor of Lucha Libre. 
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Escobar is supremely skilled, taking his cues from Mexico's greatest lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes. This superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. Here comes main event, Jey Uso. And his opponent from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jey. Jey Uso in something of a new position on his own. Some trepidation, but also some freedom. Well, as much as he gained from the bloodline and his brother, becoming the main event is something Jey needs to do on his own. And Jey is more than equipped to do it. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. Santos Escobar is ready to set it off here. It's easy to catch yourself watching it off Escobar's offense, but he's also as tough as they come. Santos is a second-generation superstar who paid his dues in rings around the world before coming to WWE. We saw what he was all about at NXT, and since his WWE debut, we've witnessed his incredible skill combined with grit and determination. But this is the man they call main event, Jey Uso, and for good reason. We're about to see Jey steal the show in a way only he can. Years of show stealing in the tag division cemented Jey's legacy, but we've learned over time that Jey just might be even more dangerous all by himself. Elbow drop. And that might have shook Escobar to his foundation. Jay doing whatever it takes there to protect his seat at the table. Not to state the obvious, but if you want to win against Jay Uso, you need to keep him grounded and not allow him to hit any aerial attacks. So here's some free advice for his opponent. Pull Jay down, pile on the attack so it becomes too hard for him to climb those ropes. That's good advice, Corey. We both know that if Jay can get to that top rope, he'll be that much closer to earning the win. To reverse. Blackjack. Stomping. Ouch. He takes control. Up and. Oh, spiked with a Frankensteiner. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. From the top rope. Beautiful drop kick. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And Santos is showcasing his unique Lucha Libre arsenal. Smart strategy, trying to wear Jay down and keeping him from climbing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Heads outside, but this one has to. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila's. How in the world do you get out of this? I guess just like that. You can feel the tables beginning to turn. A series of clotheslines, and their opponent is rocked. And Jay took a solid hit that time. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Very tearing at the face. Jay looking powerless to every attack. Santos is showing no mercy out here. Oh! Jay Uso got something in mind. What's it gonna be? Oh, uh, look Ooh. back and things up. Shades of his daddy. And we just saw some. Here he goes for the win. Man, that was such a long and hard fought match. He earned that victory. Here is your winner. Main event. Jay Uso. Santos Escobar gets put away tonight. A loss like this will burn Santos Escobar for a long time. No matter how much he wanted to, Escobar just couldn't close this out. From chosen one to number one. A man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. Scottish warrior has earned every bit of respect he is given. He's transformed from the chosen one to a real life fire breathing dragon. Yeah, the WWE is the Scottish warrior's battleground and he will go face to face with absolutely anyone. The premier up-and-coming cruiserweights. And his opponent from Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio Jr. Ray Mysterio fights for his family every day and even brought his newborn son, Dominic, backstage. And then left him in a crib in the locker room all day. Little Dom might get used to those bars.
Here's a man who's already taken part in some all-time classics, and hopefully there are many more to come. In the ring, we have Drew McIntyre, the Scottish warrior. Drew takes a lot of pride in his heritage and carries that pride with him to the ring. When Drew competes, he's channeling the legendary ferocity of his people, basically transforming the ring into an ancient battleground. Drew battles like he has everything on the line. Yeah, we know we can count on McIntyre to fight his heart out during every second of this match. And then we've got Rey Mysterio Jr. There might not be a more honorable competitor in all of sports entertainment than Rey. Even when the odds are stacked against him, even when he's at an obvious disadvantage, he fights fair and fights hard. He's a man every superstar in the locker room can look up to. That's really no exaggeration. When you look at everything Rey Mysterio has done so far, win or lose, he's always been able to carry himself with pride. And I don't see that changing tonight. Just by looking at Drew McIntyre, you can see that he's meticulously built up his entire body. Does Drew's incredible physical fitness make a difference in this match? Of course it does. Drew's practically at the peak of human conditioning. No matter where this match goes, Drew has all the physical ability he needs to keep up. And the more he's able to put his endless athleticism to work in the ring, the better his chances are of winning. Ouch. Launched with a belly to belly. Watch this display of power. Oh. It was shit out powerbomb. Thunderous impact. No! Oh no! Crashing hard onto the floor. A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Belly. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, McIntyre putting as much power as he can behind his offense. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Oh, wow. Lincoln stuck off into the pin. Stops the ref count before two. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Capitalizes there. Round and round into the satellite DDT. Oh, God. Uh oh, look out. Double leg drop. Just caught flush. Momentum's with Ray now. Drew's back. Here we go. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. That was an absolutely haphazard, uncalculated risk. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Sit out, pendulum face buster. That's gonna hurt. Counter, and now there's an opening. He turns it around. Uh-oh, cross the shoulders. And Ray Crash. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Oh, just in case the first few didn't hurt, there's another. Insulting. Toss back into the ring. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get... McIntyre looking to close out this play. Will Drew close this out? Looking for the victory. Two. Guys, can you believe how great that match was? But hold on a second. What the hell happened to the lights? Oh, my God, no.
waiting the start of this matchup. And uh, look who's down here talking trash. The jawing has already begun. Oh, he's had enough of it. These two going at it on the outside of the ring. This match hasn't even officially started yet. And not like they really care. These two just could not hold themselves back. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. It takes real toughness to climb into the ring after taking a few hits. It shows how much this match means to everyone involved. No, I don't think that's a choice they should have had to have made in the first place. It's totally unfair. It could dramatically affect the final outcome of this contest. Only time will tell. What a counter by Rollins. Man. Kick after kick after kick. Just going all out with every blow. Punching their way out of that one. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. The clubbing forearm. Big forearm. Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Able to parry that one. My goodness, that's insulting. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Sends his opponent all the way to the outside. Thinking, thinking, thinking. What's he gonna do? Oh, <laughs> wait a second, off the rope. And some effective offense with that one. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Oh! And he's able to fight Dragunov off. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. And for Ilya Dragunov, it is about that philosophy. Umba Zikbar, the notion that he's undefeatable once he reaches a certain point. The question is, how does he get there? Well, it's this simple for Ilya Dragunov. Just keep fighting. Dragunov fights every day to prove his worth. Umba Zikbar isn't just something that sounds scary, it's something he's earned the right to call himself. Oh no, super kick. Nowhere to go but down. So much damage inflicted. Lighten up the chest and now oh. straight to the knee. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Oh, not quite yet. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Tearing down the leg now. Dragunov getting put to the chest with that hit. Yeah, Rollins at this stage getting visions of winding this battle down. And put into the cover. Power through after two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Watch out. German suplex. Single leg drop kick caught him. Lives to fight another day. Drop kick. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. And he powers out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Quick sidestep by Dragon. Big forearm. Uh oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex. What started out a few short weeks ago with a few choice words has turned into an all out blood feud between them. This is a level of aggression that few take it. Look out! Stop! Dragonov is out! That's it! A kick out! I don't believe it! Ilya Dragonov with a tremendous kick out, and you have to think that the mad Russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only gonna make him stronger from here on out. Seth Rollins in deep thought, hoping to conjure one last move to win this. Launching. Five stars! Chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. 
Well, I think we know what Rollins is thinking. No! Stop! It is all Rollins now. Shoulders down. He did it. Seth Rollins is your winner. Here is your winner. Seth Freaking Rollins! After that brutal attack earlier, they were fighting a losing battle. That certainly did seem like the determining factor in this match. They really had the rug pulled out from under them. No way to prepare for that earlier onslaught. Every match comes with its fair share of surprises. It just comes down to how well you can roll with those punches.